Today we are talking about this. It's the DJI Mini 3 rumoured leak screenshot that's going about absolutely everywhere online. Now I know a lot of you guys don't like these leak style videos, and if that's the case that's absolutely fine, feel free to skip this one. But I know a lot of you do, and some of you might not even be aware this screenshot exists rumoured to be showcasing the DJI Mini 3. Now in this video today, I'm not going to speculate whether or not I think this screenshot is real. I'm going to reiterate this is a rumoured leak. But I want you guys to let me know. Do you think this screenshot is real? Let me know in the comments down below and post your reasons why. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to touch on a few interesting design features I see on this screenshot or this rumoured leak. And I'm going to talk about if I would like to see them on the DJI Mini 3 and what I would personally in general like to see in the DJI Mini 3. Let's jump right in. This leak has come from Jesper Ellens. I'm going to post a link to his Twitter down below where you can see this screenshot for yourself. And the first thing you have to say when you look at this is that the camera sensor body itself seems to be slightly larger. Now it would be absolutely impossible to speculate if the DJI Mini 3 is going to come with a larger sensor and if it does what that larger sensor size would be. You have to say the DJI Mini 2 produces fantastic video and photo quality for its size. I have got some exceptional videos and some exceptional photos from that drone. A drone that I still maintain is probably the most versatile drone you can buy. It's the one I always reach for when I'm going somewhere quickly or when I'm traveling. And I'm always blown away by the quality of videos and photos it produces. The area the DJI Mini 2 starts to fall apart in is in low light. So when you're out getting them sunrises, and sunsets, it's much harder to get usable videos and photos from it just because the sensor size is a little bit smaller and that's where a larger drone like the DJI Mavic 3 comes into its own or in nighttime shots. It's really hard to get useful video from the DJI Mini 2 in nighttime scenarios just because again of the sensor size. So a DJI Mini 3 coming with a larger sensor would absolutely make it much more useful in them scenarios. The next thing you'll notice when looking at this screenshot is there is a notch above the camera. And I think there's two main reasons for this. The second one is a really interesting and unique feature that I think would be actually really useful in this drone, but I'll get onto that in a second. So the first reason I think that notch is there is to allow the gimbal to tilt more upwards. Now in the DJI Mini 2, in the settings, you already can turn on a setting where you can tilt that gimbal upwards. And that gives you two unique abilities with it. The first is when you're getting shots to be more creative. So you can either fly towards a subject and tilt that gimbal up, that's a really unique shot, or you can start with the gimbal tilted up and as you pull back, bring the gimbal down towards the horizon and get a really unique and interesting drone move. The second thing it's useful for is for safety reasons. To be able to tilt that gimbal up when you're under a bridge or under an arch and see what's above you and around you in more detail, allows you to fly much more safely with the DJI Mini 2. And as mentioned, this is a capability that's already possible in the DJI Mini 2, but you can't really get the gimbal to tilt up that much. And so what I think this larger notch for on this rumored DJI Mini 3 leak is to allow that camera to tilt up even more. And because that notch is there, it means if you tilt it that camera up, you're not gonna get the drone body in the shot, which you currently would do if you tilt it the camera up in the DJI Mini 2. So that's gonna give you more creative possibilities with your shots to get that camera tilted up even higher. And it's gonna give you more ability to explore your surroundings, especially what's above the drone by turning that camera up from a safety perspective. But the second and more interesting reason why I think that notch is there is for vertical video. Let me explain. More and more people are creating content for vertical video platforms. So you've got TikTok, Instagram, etc. And the way you would normally go about that is you would just crop your video in to a vertical aspect ratio. I know I've personally had this problem. I know other drone pilots have had this problem. Sometimes you can be left a little disappointed when you do that with videos you've been out capturing with your drone. So let me give you an example. If you go out with your drone and get a really nice landscape shot, when you bring that back into your video editor and crop it into a vertical aspect ratio, two things happen. One, you cut out a lot of the shot, so it maybe doesn't look as interesting or exciting anymore. And also when you crop that 4K video into a vertical aspect ratio and it gets blown up on these social media platforms, you lose a lot of the detail because you've cropped it in so much. And you can't just flip your video to be vertical because then your landscape shot would be sideways. And I think this notch here might be an indicator to a little stroke of genius. I have a hunch that this camera will be able to turn on its side and do vertical video. And that would allow you to get these high quality, high resolution 4K vertical videos natively in your drone 
and to be also able to see it and frame it correctly when you're out flying your drone. The next thing that's glaringly obvious when you look at this is there is obstacle avoidance sensors on the front of this drone. I would say there is front, back and downward obstacle avoidance, three-way obstacle avoidance, because I can't see any sensors on the top or side. Now, this is something that the DJI Mini 2 currently lacks in. There is zero obstacle avoidance. Yes, it's a much smaller drone, but it is still possible to crash this drone whenever you're flying it sideways. You might fly into a tree, or even if you fly forwards, there's nothing that's gonna stop it having these little accidents when you have a moment where you lapse judgment or you just lose concentration slightly. And so having a DJI Mini 3 with this obstacle avoidance would be absolutely fantastic. It would massively improve safety. And it also makes flying these drones much more easy for first time flyers because it's less likely you're gonna have an accident with them. And I actually think that points to another additional feature I think this drone might have, and that is active tracking. If it has the obstacle avoidance, I don't see why it wouldn't have the active tracking capabilities. Another area where the DJI Mini 2 currently lacks. Yes, you can now do it as of recently with Android third party apps and the DJI Mini 2, but you have to say the tracking isn't very good. You know, I used to use the original DJI Mavic Air, another small lightweight drone all the time, get these active tracking shots. Whenever you're out hiking or whenever you're out by yourself and you wanna get these dynamic shots, off you moving, off you riding a bike, off you doing something, active tracking always comes in in a pinch and gives you these amazing shots. And like I say, it was something I used all the time. It's something I miss in the DJI Mini 2. It's not something you would use all the time, but when you do want it and need it, it's something that, as I mentioned, always gives you amazing shots. And if you think who the DJI Mini 2 and the Mini 3 is aimed at, it's people that are out traveling, people that are out exploring new areas and want to get videos and photos of them doing that that they can share with family and friends and social media. And so having active tracking capabilities would be a massive win for the DJI Mini 3. It's something I would definitely use all the time. The next thing we have to talk about is obviously the controller. And for me, this is something I thought was a pretty big indicator giveaway that this was a bit fake. It certainly looks like a mashup between an RC Pro and a DJI Mini 2 controller, but there's two things about it seem a little bit off to me. The first is that where you rest your palms in this controller, but there's a screen there. So surely you would be covering or accidentally pressing a lot of the screen. Now that might just be a perspective thing. It might not actually be that way. Certainly the left side looks like there's area for your palm, the right side not, not so much. The, the second thing I noticed best was the original smart controller and the RC Pro have quite large black bezels around the screen, whereas this one has very, very slim black bezels around the screen, barely any. And so does this mean it's an improved screen? I don't know. So there you have it. You're up to date with all the supposed rumors leaks with the DJI Mini 3. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Do you think the screenshot is real? Let me know in the comments down below. What would you like to see in a DJI Mini 3? Again, let me know in the comments down below. If you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you want to level up your drone game, if you want to learn tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to take better videos and photos with your drone, then I recommend checking out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. If you want to stick around and watch some more of them videos now, then here's a few I personally recommend checking out. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.